Okay, so the question here is we have to complete the plan elevation to show the line of intersection, okay? So we have the vertical traces and the horizontal traces. So all we need to do is we have a vertical trace here, you can see in the 3D image, so where our oblique plane touches the vertical plane, where the other oblique plane touches the vertical plane, there's our vertical traces there. Our horizontal traces are also for the oblique plane. So this just shows a portion of the oblique plane. So what we're going to do is, all we need is to continue on our horizontal trace and continue on our other horizontal trace till they intersect each other. Okay, and that would be a point on the ground where the two horizontal traces meet. So that point there. So we're just going to label that point A. So that's going to be A there. So same thing in elevation. Continue the vertical trace up and continue on with the other vertical trace. Where they intersect each other is going to be this point here. So I'm just going to call that point B. So that's point B. Okay, so I think everyone's okay with that today. So all we need to do now is, if we can see point B is located on the vertical plane to the VP, and when it joins down to point B, which is located on the horizontal plane, that's our line of intersection. Okay, so that line in there is our LOI. Okay, so line of intersection. So what we need to do now is, if we were looking in plan, a point B that would be located directly below okay so directly straight down on the XY line okay so it appear as on the XY line and we know now that's B in plan so we can see here A goes to B so A goes to B and that's our plan of our line of intersection Okay, so LOI, so label everything. So we do the exact same thing then in plan. If we bring that okay and walk around here and look at the elevation of point A will be located. Elevation of point A will be located exactly on the XY line. So we located there. So that'd be point A. So that is the elevation of our line of intersection, so our LOI. Okay. So that's not too bad, I don't think. I think everyone was okay with that. Okay, so next thing we need to do then, that's the plan of an elevation of the line of intersection between planes. So that's part A done. Move on to part B. So determine the dihedral angle between the plane A and B. So the dihedral angle is the angle underneath the two planes, where the planes meet together. It's going to be, we have to look 90 degrees to it to get the angle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up an auxiliary to get the true length of our line of intersection. So what we need to do is walk around here and see the line of intersection. So we have to take an auxiliary view looking in here. Okay. Make sure it's 90 degrees perpendicular to the line of intersection. Okay, so we project point A and B out and we can set up our X1, our X1, Y1 line. Okay. So there's our X1, Y1 line. We know, if you can see here in 3D, point A is located on the ground, so on the horizontal plane, so it's gonna be on the X1, Y1 line. So there's point A. Now we need to continue and find point B. So we know point B is going to be in line here, along that line somewhere. So we know B is on that line somewhere, we just don't know where. So all we need to do is, this is our X, Y line, our X1, Y1. That's our X, Y line. So the B is that height off the ground in every single elevation. Doesn't matter where we're looking from, that height B is the same distance off the ground all the time. So use our compass, we take our distance. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that height. So I'll take, draw it in as H. 
Okay, and we're going to step H off over here. So that's H there. Okay, so I think everyone was okay with that in class. So we're going to join A and B together. Because when we join A and B together, we get our line of intersection. Okay, so this is our line of intersection. Okay, but it's also our true length. So it's the true length of the line of intersection. Okay, so there's our first auxiliary taken. That's not too bad. So what we have now is we can we're looking at at 90 degrees to the edge to get the true length. So we need to now walk over here and look straight in to see the true length as a point view. So we're going to walk around here, look along from here and take a second auxiliary. Okay, so second auxiliary. So everything is going to be parallel to the line of intersection because we need to see the line as a point view. The only way we can see a line as a point view, we need to look along its true length. So we look along the true length. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up our new x2, okay, our x2, y2 line. X2, Y2 line. Okay. So, most people got to this stage today, so I don't think anyone had a massive issue with it. So, what we're going to do now is get the dihedral angle. First thing we need to do is locate where point A and B are. So, when we look along A and B, we'll see it as a point view. Okay, so we take our distance from our X1, so we're going back 1 auxiliary view from A to A here that distance so I'll use pink this distance here so I'm just call it D for distance it's the same as the distance here okay so we're going to take that distance we're going to step it off from the X2 Y2 line and that's going to be our point A and B Okay, because you know A and B is on that line somewhere, and we know that they're both the same distance back. So that's point A and B, or that is the line of intersection. So it's a point view. Okay. I think most people are okay with that. The very last part now today was we need to locate a point on the ground here and a point on the ground here along the horizontal traces. Okay, so what we can do is if we just draw a random line, it doesn't matter where, keeping it closer down will make it easier, it'll make the drawing smaller. So we have to draw it perpendicular to the line of, inter line of intersection. So just draw a random line perpendicular to the line of intersection and where it touches the horizontal trace there Okay, and do these that big so you can see them, you don't have to do them that big. Okay, so the line, I mean, or the point here, where that crosses, so that line there, we're going to call that point C, and point D, so that's point C, and that's point D. Okay, so we need to bring that around into our first auxiliary, and then bring it around into our second auxiliary. So we know that C and D are on the ground or the horizontal plane. So they're going to be located on the ground and appear as being on the X, Y line here, or the X1, Y1. So that's going to be C and D, C, D. And then we will use, take them in our second auxiliary. So C and D are going to be located along that line somewhere. Okay, so C and D are located along that line somewhere. So we need to do the same thing. We need to take our distances now. So we're going to step our distance back to D using our compass. We can step it up here. And that's going to be point D. So this distance here, anyone that's struggling. Okay. I'm just going to call it D2 for the distance. From there to there, it's the same as the distance there. So take your compass 
Let's bring it up. That's point D. So the next point then we need is point C. So we take the distance then from point C. Okay, and step it off. We know C and D are along this line. Project it out onto this line. Let's so take point C. We're going to mark that. That's point C. And we have our distance then from there. Or that distance tree from there to there is the same as the distance from here, D3, to here, if anybody isn't sure. So that distance matches that distance. We know C has been projected into the first auxiliary, and then we've looked along the true length and got the second auxiliary. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is join, we can see here that C is joined to A, and D is joined to A, so we're going to join D to A and C to A. Okay, so then points there, that angle is going to be my dihedral angle. Okay, so the same thing goes, the same you can, for questions one and two that we had for homework on page 171. Okay. We'll be coming up in the exam, so good luck with that. Okay.